Okay, here you see the uh, diagram I'm using to uh, build the amp with. Got one or two things off the internet as well, but uh, that's one of the primary things I'm using. If you can move across to the chassis. As you can see, I've started to install the uh, front uh, volumes and overdrive switches and things like that. I'm going to be moving on to uh, the bits on the back next and then the tube sockets. Looking across, this is how I tend to do it. I have a little box there and put the bits in. And there's a guy on the website that shows you how he did his, which is nice. Okay, when I was fitting these, uh, I left the second washer off, as you can see there. And also, when you fit them uh, to the chassis, uh, don't over tighten the uh, silver portion there, because if you do, it's going to snap or either the, the uh, you know, the uh, the jack the jack socket will just end up being loose. Uh, just be careful. Okay, you see this little tag here on the switch. Bend that back flat before you fit the tag, and then uh, everything goes nice and smoothly. Assuming it stays in focus, that is. There you go. Take that tag and bend it flat, and then fit the switch. Goes on much easier. Okay, this is the first section, uh, well, at least what I call the first section of the uh, chassis. Uh, finished. It's got its uh, switches on, its knobs on, and its bits and pieces. A few things to be careful of. Take a good look, look at this. Uh, in my view that's upside down. That's what it says on the diagram, so I left it that way. Personally I'd turn that over. Also, if you look on the back of that, you can see there's an earthing tag, and that's the main earth tag for the chassis. Doesn't look too good to me, especially when it's uh, stuck on a piece of plastic in that way. Uh, maybe I'll do something about that later. There's the ground switch. Uh, don't use that in the UK. The slow blow, if you look at the back, if you notice the slow blow, I left the plastic white washer off because it didn't fit right. So that's another little thing we left off. What else? Oh yeah, round here. On this thing that we uh, fit for half power, well, again, on the diagram it shows you it's in the bottom hole and on the images on the internet. But the truth is, the bottom hole isn't the right size. So what you have to do is take that bottom hole that that fits in, file it all out, and then fit it in. Funnily enough, if you look at the top hole there, the top hole's the right size for the pot, but the outer uh, face plate, the back face plate, isn't big enough. So anyway, I fitted it the way that it, uh, it appeared on the diagram. We shall see. What else? Most other things were fine. I thought the screws on here were not quite right. If you can see, they stick out a lot. You see that? Uh, that's not, in my opinion, really the best way of doing things. But those are the screws that came with the kit, so those got fitted. You can see, looking at the back, of the chassis <coughs> that I lined everything up pretty much square and it all reflects the way that the chassis should look I reckon uh, from all the diagrams and all the pictures I've seen you can see on this one there's the date sticker just my own view here but if you look at the date sticker 7th of the 8th of 9, dash 34, well, 34 to me says they sold 34 of this. Who knows? HRM. Okay, the chassis now uh, further down the road. As you can see, we've got all the sockets in there. We've got the little tag boards in there. Got the spacers in there. Little ferrules down here. these things fitted. One thing to note uh, when you're working on this is if you take a look at these, these are the grounds and 
they don't appear to be too good uh, in my opinion uh, screws are too short really uh, I don't like to see them a little bit longer screws and some uh, flat washers just to fit on the top of there and you've got to just tighten them up I'm going to do something else a bit later on which I'll show you but that's what I see at the minute also I noticed that if you go back over the board look down here really close you can see that that's very near that fixing screw now, I haven't fitted the components yet but you know I might just move that a little bit lower down uh, looks a bit dangerous to me I don't know you don't want it touching ground do we yeah another thing to note is with these grounds you just have to be a little bit careful because there's one right down there and I can tell you once you've fitted the pot let's get in focus once you've fitted the pot it's really difficult to fit the knot so just have a good look around before you uh, get to fit that and fit that that uh, grounding point first on the top side of the chassis you can see we've got the fuse first planking plate we've got the uh, main tubes there sockets uh, another blanking plate so on and so forth again one thing I thought was a bit uh, dodgy <laughs> was the screws that you use for this you can't easily fit uh, shake proof washers this applied but the screws again aren't long enough it's just about uh, just a little bit too small and I think that's a bit of a pain there's you know, another thing that bothered me too uh, if you look at this here It's actually the shaft for the uh, bias adjustment. Let's just turn that down a bit. It's a shaft for the bias adjustment. You see, there's no th no cut in the top or anything like that. You just gotta either put a, a I don't know, put something on it or just do it by hand. What I intend to do is to cut the shaft down so we can get a screwdriver in there. That'd be a much better choice. And maybe uh, Sir Iton want to think about that. Just while I'm on the subject of the chassis. Uh, a couple of things I think could uh, be being improved on this faceplate. The first thing, uh, in my opinion, is to be nice to have this named what it should be. It certainly ain't level. And I think also, I think the uh, the name itself uh, isn't commensurate with the type of uh, thing that it is. You know, the, the, it, let's face it. At the end of the day, this is a clone of a Dumble. And again, you know, His Royal Majesty doesn't fit well uh, with that level of product. It, it, to me, it makes the product sound cheap. I was going to change the faceplate. Certainly, I might do at some stage. But there you go. That's just a threepenny worth. Maybe Nick can change yours for you. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, but I just stuck with it for now. Okay, one last look at the board. Uh, you're ready to put the heater wires in next they fit in along that bottom all nicely so they claim we shall see uh, but I think apart from that they're all ready to rock and roll I just turn the chassis around so you can see the other side and here's the other side uh, let's take a look nothing really uh, scary there screw the things on where you go this is going to be nice to do down there when we get down to a bit of wiring. I'm sure that'll be fun. I suppose I could have done it first, but there you go, I didn't. <laughs> 